everyone, it's Amy and I am coming to you with my deep cleaning schedule. I don't spend once a month cleaning the entire house. To me that's not productive. I'm wasting an entire weekend for something I could be doing every single day. So I'm going to be looking down a lot, I apologize, but this is my deep cleaning schedule and I'm sharing it with you guys hoping that I can help somebody. Every single day I have one room a day where I deep clean. So on day one of every month, it's the living room. That includes windows, baseboards, dusting, everything. TV screens, everything. Day two is my front room. Day three is my kitchen. Kitchen, it includes everything but the stove and the refrigerator. I have separate days for those. But the microwave, the microwave is moved underneath the microwave. The floors are mopped. The baseboards are all wiped down. Everything. Day five is my dining room. Day six are bookshelves. We have built-in bookshelves. So I specifically left that for its own day. Day six, or day, day five is bookshelves. Day six is my kids' room. Um, Cameron and Christian share room. Day seven is the twins' room. Day eight is the kids' bath. So again, mirrors, toilets, floors, bathtub bleached clean and that's all I do that specific day other than my normal cleaning. This is like an addition to my normal cleaning which would be um, the kitchen, the floor, anywhere that the kids are pretty much all the time. Um, the playroom gets picked up. Day 9 my room. Day 10 my bathroom. Day 11 my kids sheets. Now I change them more than that if they like pee through. But in general, they're probably in that room seven hours a night, eight hours a night. So I don't get too gun ho and they're always clean before bed. But if they like pee their bed, it gets changed immediately. I like filming outside, it's prettier. Um, I check our sub pump in the laundry room on day 12. Day 13 is my sheets. Day 14 are my kids' toys. Every month I Lysol all of my kids toys that they currently play with So if it's in the playroom and it's out It's Lysol every single month, but if it's not out, I don't really see the point because nobody's touching it Day 15 I check the disposal and I clean the outside toys as you can see my kids have a swing set and Every month I go out here and wipe it all down um, things outside get dirty and it's good just to keep things clean I probably won't do it in the winter because of snow but as long as I can do it I will do it and if I have to switch these things around on my cleaning schedule so like yesterday I was supposed to clean the kitchen but I didn't get to so I switched it with um, cleaning my office so I cleaned my office instead of the kitchen I have no problem switching things around as long as it get all this gets done every single month Day 16, I switch out the air filters. And some of these are so simple, but they're things that should be done. Day 17, I check the gutters and the range hood. Day 18, I clean the stove. I pull out the trays, I spray it all down with the heavy duty spraying stuff, and I clean the stove top to bottom. Day 19 is the fridge. I like to do the fridge on my off days from grocery shopping so I gro do two major grocery trips a month and then the two minor ones are like milk and bread those are the days I like to clean the fridge because it's emptiest more most empty most empty um, and I clean every shelf gets pulled out every shelf gets wiped down every shelf gets pulled back freezer I pull everything out I wipe everything down Day 19 is the fridge. Day 20 I check the smoke detectors to make sure they're working and the batteries are good. And I make sure that my fire extinguisher is dusted off. Day 20 was that. Day 21 is the hallway. Day 22. This one's an important one. I clean my car every single month. I don't vacuum it out, but I get out all the possible junk that is accumulated from having four kids in my car. I'm really, really good about keeping my car clean 
and I'm actually going to do a video on what's in my car later this month. So stay tuned for that. But I do clean out my car every single month. Um, day 23 is my office. Day 24, I just check the roof to make sure it's in good condition, that the weather hasn't altered it in any way. And I check our water softener levels. I'm in the country, if you can't tell by the yard size. Um, day 25 is my husband's car. That one takes me about an hour because he pretty much lives in his car. Day 26, I go around and do all the baseboards throughout all the house. Even though it's done when I do it room to room, it makes me feel better that I'm actually scrubbing the baseboards. Day 27, I organize and sweep out the garage every single month. Day 28 is our AC. I just make sure it's in good working condition. Day 29 is the exterior drainage. I just make sure everything's in good working condition. Day 30, I just check on the plants, make sure to remove any dead plants. I don't have a green thumb, so, or, you know, even if it's just maintaining the yard, making sure nothing fell over. Um, day 31, if we get that far, but some months only have 30 days, so sometimes this gets bumped up to day 30. I straighten out the exterior, um, straighten up the exterior. So if we, we currently have a grill outside, so my husband can grill out. I make sure it's covered. I make sure it, everything looks good on it. Um, if we have chairs outside, I make sure that they're properly put away, that they're all wiped down. So that's my cleaning schedule. Comment down below with your cleaning schedule or your biggest cleaning tip. Have a great day. Bye.